Hello Gate aspirants, welcome to part 11 of Gate Electronics series. Question 5. Which one of the following is a universal logic guest? We have only two universal logic gates, NAND and NOR, so option D is correct. Question 6. Which one of the following is the correct binary equivalent of the hexadecimal F6X? So for hexadecimal to uh, bi binary conversion, we just have to uh, check binary for each digit. So F, 6 and C. So for F we have 111, then 6, 0, 110 and then C, 1100. So the correct option is option B. Next question. The input voltage V in to the circuit shown in the figure is 2 cos 100 T volt. The output voltage V out is 2 cos 100 T minus pi by 2 volt. If R is equal to 1 kilo ohm, then the value of C is. Now this circuit is differentiator circuit. And we have to find out R for it, or C for it. Now there are two inputs, one input is to the inverting terminal and another one is to non-inverting terminal. So for both of them we have to solve it. So let us first consider inverting terminal. So for that output will be, let it be VO1. So that will be simply minus RF upon RI into V in. Here RF is R, this is RF and this is ri for that case so both are same that means this will be simply minus of v in let it be equation 1 then vo2 it will be 1 plus rf upon ri for non inverting terminal into v in and this is this will be voltage at this uh, this will be uh, v1 into this so we have to calculate this V1 as well. So V1 will be voltage across this capacitor. That is Xc upon R plus Xc. So V in into Xc upon R plus Xc that is voltage at this point V1. And then we are multiplying it by closed loop voltage. Now Rf is R, Ri is R. So this will be 1 plus R upon R into V in. And Xc is 1 upon J omega C plus R plus 1 upon J omega C. That is capacitive reactance. So 1 plus 1 R that is 2. So this will be 2 into this portion. So this will be 2 V in into bracket 1 upon. We can multiply by J omega C. So this will be simply J omega R C. Now output voltage VO is because of both of these terms. So VO1 and VO2. So V0 is equal to minus of V in from equation 1 and this is equation 2 plus 2 into 1 upon 1 plus J omega RC into V in. So this will be, I can take V in common. So this will be minus 1 into this term so minus 1 minus j omega rc plus 2 upon 1 plus j omega rc so in the numerator we will have 1 plus 1 minus j omega rc upon 1 plus j omega rc so vo is equal to 1 plus j omega rc upon 1 minus j omega rc this into v in Now these are complex numbers and we can write these numbers in exponential form. So this will be V0 is equal to the magnitude of this number. Since these two numbers will be same in magnitude, there will be difference only in the phase. So VO is equal to V in and phase for this will be E raised to minus J theta upon E raised to J theta. I can write here magnitude as well but that magnitude is going to be same and that magnitude will be under root 1 plus omega rc square 
and its theta will be tan inverse of omega r c. So this will cancel out. So V O upon V in. It will be e raised to j theta upon j theta. So that is e raised to minus two j theta. Now phase difference between these two is pi by two. So we can write phase difference is minus pi by two. So we can write minus pi by two is equal to minus two theta. That is minus two into tan inverse of omega r c. So this minus minus side will cancel out. This will be pi by four, and that will be tan pi by four. So tan pi by four is one. So one is equal to omega into r c, and omega is given hundred. Into value of r is ten raised to three into c. So c is equal to ten raised to minus five farad, or in microfarad it will be ten. So it will be ten microfarad. So answer is ten. So here option C is correct. Next question thirty. Consider a four bit counter constructed out of four flip flops. It is formed by connecting the J and K inputs to logic high, and feeding the Q output to the clock input of the following flip flops. The input signal to the counter is a series of square pulses, and a change of state is triggered by falling edge. At time t is equal to t naught, the outputs are in logic low state, that means all are zero. Then at t is equal to t one, the logic state of the output is. Now here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight clock pulses are given. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And initially all are zero. So if we consider this time to be t naught, so this is t naught. Then all are initially zero. So, if we consider Q naught, Q one, Q two, and Q three, initially all are zero, and they are going to change their state on the negative edge. So, on this edge, the output will flip. So, this will become positive, negative, and so on. Now, on the negative edge of Q zero, output of Q one will change. So here it will change, and on the negative edge of Q one, output of Q two will change, and on the negative edge of Q three, output of Q three will change. Now the T one part is over here. And for that, we have to check Q zero, Q one, Q two, Q three, and Q one. So, if this is T one, then at that point, logic state of the output is zero, 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 and one. So, Q three will be one, and all other inputs outputs will be zero. See here, option B is correct. Next question, forty-two. Consider the circuit given in the figure. Let the forward voltage drop across each diode be zero point seven volt. So this is zero point seven, zero point seven, zero point seven. The current through the resistor is. Now voltage at that this point will be point seven into three. So this will be two point one volt. So voltage at that this point is two point one volt. So current is equal to voltage difference that is ten point one minus. 2.1 upon resistance is 1 kilo ohm. So this will be 8 by 1 k, that is 8 milliampere. So answer is 8, and the answer range for this is 8 to 8 only. So these are all the questions from electronics part of GATE 2020 paper. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos.
keep learning